Yo, all I can tell you guys is that this car is like super fast. There's really no limitations to when I'm driving, I can go as fast as I want to go. There's nothing really holding it back. Eventually, I'm going to get a, a tune-up. I'm going to tune up the EC when I believe. I don't know how much horsepower it will give me, but from the reviews I read online, they say that it just gives you like a brand new car. Like it's a lot more responsive. Sometimes when I'm pressing the gas on this car, like it takes like a millisecond to really like a few seconds, not a second, but it takes a little time for it to fully kick in and go. So we'll do it at this light. Let me put it in sport mode. Not, even, not sport plus, sport mode. Um, yeah, whenever you hear a nice car, I'm just looking to see like, yo, who wants to really go. This guy is someone who would definitely race. Mustang. See him? He's definitely a guy that would want to go. I should turn around and go after him. But no, I'm good. <laughs> You don't want to embarrass him right now, you know? I don't want to do that to him on YouTube, bro. Alright, so I'm about to floor it right now. Like, as you've seen, it had a little bit of... It took a little bit for it to kick in and then really go. So they say when you tune up the car that you don't have that anymore. So I'm definitely going to test that out for myself. See how that, uh, the performance upgrades that I would get. Yeah, does this car have uh, turbo? Yeah, it has to that's be. why it's yeah. called turbo lag. Turbo lag. Turbo lag. So yeah. what's, what's turbo lag? So it takes a couple seconds for that like that power to kick in. Yeah. So how turbo works is that it takes in air. Yeah. And then it pushes the car, right? Mm -hmm. So it takes a couple seconds to take in that air. Oh, okay, that's so it's called why. turbo lag. Yeah. yeah. Turbo lag. That's why. But if it was like um, this is a V8, right? Yeah. If it was like a straight V8 mm -hmm. and like they tuned it somehow to like without the turbo to have the same amount of horsepower, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have that leg. So it'd just be straight. It's just be straight, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, it's okay. called turbo leg, yeah. Turbo every leg. every car with turbo will have that leg. Oh shit, I never yeah. knew that. Okay, well that turbo leg, now y'all learn something. All I did to this was a resonator delete, so it's nothing too crazy. I'm gonna scare this kid right here. Those little girls are on the side. Yeah. I popped it. Like, ah! Let me go to this baby right here. <laughs> the gas isn't that bad. Like you would think gas would be terrible, but I get about Right now I'm 23.9 liters per 100 kilometers. That's because I've just been, I've been ripping it all day, but on average it's about 15.3 liters per. I'm a very conservative driver. Like I don't really rip it that much. I already know what the car can do, but there's times where you know I want to go on camera and show you guys. I remember when I was looking for, I was trying to do research on this car to buy it. There wasn't a lot of videos that really explained the car and showed the car what it could really do, so. <laughs> yeah, those kids live in my building too. <laughs> Ooh, Ferrari alert. Uh oh. Uh oh. What does this mean? I'm waiting for him. <laughs> let's go, bro. Come on. Oh, come no. On. Come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want that shit. But that's a sick Ferrari, though. Fuck. I can't believe we didn't want it. You don't want no smoke, bro. This guy's not serious. I can have a Ferrari and not want to go. Damn, bro. This is the first. This is like the only opportunity where, you know, a man could really race with me and actually probably win. You know, this car's faster than mine. I seen that Ferrari in the back of me, in the, in the rear view mirror. I'm like, okay. Hey, So while I was searching for this car, a few of the, well, any car, 
this is actually my second car that I've gotten and the main thing I really look for is gas and how much it would really cost to like maintain the car. There weren't many videos for the CLS 63, so I could tell you firsthand what it costs to maintain this car. Gas, it takes about, to fill up the tank, don't quote me, but it might be like 60 liters. And it usually costs, uh, gas cost me $1.34, premium 91 is the minimum. And it cost me about $90 to fill up the tank. And I fill up once a week. I do a lot of driving. Um, I believe I get almost 500 kilometers off a full tank, which is pretty good. You know, as long as you're not flooring it all the time. With this car, you have the ability to floor it. Like if you want to go 200 kilometers an hour like this, you can do it. But when I first got the car, I was ripping it, but you get used to it. I already know what the car can do. I don't really want to waste the gas, right? So yeah, gas cost me about $90 to fill up the tank at $1.34 per liter. For insurance, it cost me $260 a month. And I'm 24 years old. I've had my license since I was 17. I've never had any accidents. I've actually never been pulled over by the cops ever. Which is like pretty rare. Everybody gets pulled over. So my insurance is $260 a month. And it also depends on where you live. I live in Toronto, which is a pretty big city. And insurance is pretty expensive here but if you're in a, a smaller town for example you probably pay a lot less and i'm not under my mom's name or anything it's just straight up my insurance which is kind of crazy don't you think 260 dollars that's crazy yeah that's kind of hectic i pay uh, that for like a car that's like three times cheaper than this yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> whenever i see mercedes on road you know i always check to see if it's amg see what they're, they're, they're driving in having a car like this even though you do have to pay you know a little bit more money for gas you get to do fun things like this so let me we're going under a tunnel right now let me rip this for you guys car behind me I'm about to sound like a shotgun and I think I started out there in like third or fourth gear and it still had the pop even though this car is kind of expensive it still has it brings the happiness to me like every time I jump in I'm like I'm just, I'm so happy to drive this car. So happy. I'm so happy. This car cost 75 grand Canadian and I got it at 46,000 kilometers when I got it. So it's still pretty much like a baby. You pretty much just broken the engine. Well, yeah, the person who drove it yeah, they broken the engine. Got it ready for me. So now yeah. I can rip it freely. I don't exactly. think the person before me drove it crazy. Then again, like if you have a super like a super serious car, yeah. you may not listen to them. But I hope yeah. they listen. What I've had to do when I got my car when I first got it they say they give you an oil change but you never know they recommend Mercedes recommends that you do oil changes like every 15,000 kilometers like service a service B and stuff like that but my mechanics they told me that's garbage don't listen to that all they do for service A and service B is like an oil change change some filters you know and sometimes they may not even do that they might top just take it in fluids. yeah top it up you know and they charge you I believe when I went in to get a service A it was like $900 so I said that's not right Took it to my boy. Uh, we use liquid, mo liquid molly, which is supposed to be a top end oil. And it takes about a jug, almost two jugs of liquid molly. And I think I paid $130 for that oil change. Changed the air filters, cabin filters and stuff. That wasn't really anything significant. I had to get new tires. The car came with winter tires, so I had to buy summer tires. I got 295s in the back and I think I have 255s in the front. For the four summer tires, and these are like a no-name aftermarket brand. I think it cost me about thirteen hundred. I think it was thirteen hundred. This is all Canadian dollars, y'all. So it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not, not that bad. bad. And those are pretty much basically. I need to get my brakes done now. I've been doing some research online, and yo, some people were saying like six racks to change brakes. I'm like, nah, 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 can't be. But my I should, my mechanic told me he's like, yo, you need to change your brakes just now start saving your pennies so now i'm kind of scared He's like next month we have to change the brake so i'll probably do an update video and show you guys you know the receipt of how much it costs but i feel like it's just the pads that i need i don't know if you're supposed to change the whole rotor and everything in there i hope not so yeah just the brakes is gonna be not looking forward to but i'm curious to see what it's gonna cost hopefully it's nothing too crazy you might sell the channel before the brake pads or <laughs> yo i'm gonna have to sell it before, before yo, that's what i'm saying bro bro yo six <laughs> racks to change the brakes i didn't sign up for this y'all i didn't sign up for this you know i love the car this is i feel like this is the best car pound for pound because you have power you have i'll say 10 out of 10 power 
Park. Yeah. Yeah. 10 out of 10 luxury. You know, those Mercedes Benz. And gas mileage is not as bad as you would expect for a V8 engine. So this car is like perfect to me. I feel like this is the best car. I did my research on this car. Main thing for me was gas. And gas mileage on this car is pretty great. So I'm totally happy with the car. If I ever lost this car, I would not be the same person after I lost it. I would be so depressed, so sad. So I love this car, 10 out of 10. If you're thinking about getting a CLS, this is a 2014 by the way. If you're thinking about getting a CLS 63, I would say get it, but I would say get the S version. So I have the S. What's the difference between S and I the believe it's like 60 extra horsepower. No, no, no. The CLS 63 AMG has 555 horsepower, I believe. And the S model gives you 577, I believe. Don't quote me on that. You could definitely research online to see mm -hmm. the differences for sure. But yo, we have suede. This is all suede. Word. The steering wheel is suede. Like, look at the clock. There's a. I was in the mall. I was at Yorkdale. Shaft housing or whatever it's called. Shaft housing right there. Like, it looks... The luxury is 10 out of 10 in this car. I got the cool seats on. Matter of fact, let me get the massage going right now. I wish you could get the massage too. It's only for... The driver's seat. Only the driver. Jeez. Love this car. Imagine you could take the top off though. Ooh, that's Ooh. the thing. I said, yo, what would it... I asked my mechanic. I'm like, is there a way we can make this a convertible? Or a panoramic roof at least. You're just a panoramic roof, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least a panoramic roof. And he's like, yo, you don't even really want to know, to be honest. I'm like, shit. Why? It's going to be expensive, it's bro. Gonna, that's yeah, going to be 100% custom work. So, shit. hey, if there's any shops that are watching this and you're willing to make my car a panoramic roof, holla at me. Let me know. Or a convertible. Let me know. So, since you're going to your mechanic, yeah. does not that void your warranty? Nah, I have extended warranty. So, I paid for extended warranty. So, from what I know, if... As long as you get your oil changed on time or before the 15,000 that Mercedes has rec recommended number, you're valid. But if you bypass that, so for example, it says you're supposed to change it every 15,000. If you change it every 16, your warranty is voided at that point. And I have third party Jeez. warranty. So if I change my oil every 7,500 kilometers, I don't do 15,000. I always change it. That was a recommendation from my mechanic. He's like, make sure you change your oil. And yeah, because uh, he's saying how they tell you to change it every 15,000 kilometers so it gets you to come in. And when you have to pay a repair cost at Mercedes-Benz or probably BMW, Audi, whatever, you're going to get taxed, right? So he told me, recommended, yo, 7,500 kilometers, change your oil, premium oil change, and you should be good to go. And that's it. Yeah. We gave her a car wash today, and um, she's looking nice and sexy. She's pretty long. Long body. And I came from a C300. I used to have a C300. And this is like 10 out of 10. The C300, I would say, is maybe like a, a six and a half out of 10. Maybe a seven, just because it still has the luxury of, you know, Mercedes. But power-wise, it didn't have anything. And this is like, I feel like I'm in a tank sometimes. It has um, a lift suspension. So when I'm in sports suspension, it drops the car, like as you see right here. When it's in comfort, it sticks up. Does it drop right now? I think it's dropped. Yeah, you see how the that air that you hear is the car dropping. So you see here, my hand is gonna start to get crushed more and more and more. You know. So whenever I feel it, whenever it's up, I feel like it's in tank mode. Whenever I'm laying low, it's pretty sick. I love this. So if y'all are thinking about getting a CLS 63 AMG S, I recommend it 100% because I had this. I've had it for two months now, and I still feel happy when I go into the car. And that, that speaks for itself. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope I answered some of your questions. Gas cost me about $90 Canadian for 60 liters. I get about 15.3 on average liters per 100 kilometers. Insurance cost me $260 in Toronto on my own name. New summer tires, no names, cost me 1300. These are 295s, those are 255s. And I don't know about the brakes. I don't really know if I wanna know, but when I find out, I'm definitely gonna have to let you guys know. I'll come back and post a comment on the video, tell you guys how much that costs. I gotta change that this month, so. Not looking forward to it, but if you wanna, if you wanna be a boss, you gotta pay the cost, y'all. That's the way I look at it, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. This is what it's like. 
to drive a CLS 63 AMG S. Catch y'all in the next video.